Hello, and welcome to the very, very first episode of My Life as a Petri Dish, Sex, Life, and HIV. I'm your host, Chris Villalobos. I am, like I said in my <laughs> very impromptu video from before, this is my very first go at going on pretty much social media in general. So I, I'm just as scared as I was when I first started this. I have no idea what's going, but what's amazing, I have friends, guys. I have over 2,000 and I started this technically Monday night. I mean, that's pretty damn good because I, I mean, I never had 2,000 friends before. Anyways, thank you. Thank you for being interested and engaged. Um, this is going to be an ongoing thing. This is my journey and exploration into my life and I'm just going to document it because why the hell not? All right, so in honor of jumping right in with all of this non, uh, social media stuff, I am going all in. So I have Instagram, uh, the Petri Dish 2020. I have my YouTube channel, which is My Life as a Petri Dish. And then I, of course, I have the Facebook page in which we've been doing most of the interaction so far. Um, and if I can please get your support I would love for you to switch over to the actual business page so that way I can have as many friends as I want. I mean, 2,000 is a lot, but I want more. I don't know what that voice was. But yeah, just follow me. I think um, there's gonna be a lot of fun in store. Fun, silliness, seriousness. We're gonna talk about all sorts of things. This week's first topic was about my AIDS anniversary. What did everyone learn, huh? Anything new? Um, I learned a little bit something new, but honestly, not even that much because <laughs> here we go again. Um, AIDS. People don't usually like to hear the word AIDS when associated with HIV, but I'm sorry. I have to have a sense of humor about it because if you don't have a sense of humor, it wins. And I'm, I'm sorry, but it helped me get past it in so many ways. And if you are going to be so sensitive and not want to move forward and be stuck by the stigma of it all, what 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 are we do, what are we doing here? It is thirty plus years later. Um, there is no disrespect. In fact, I have nothing but respect for the generation that was almost completely decimated by this virus. But I believe in honoring them. If they were alive and well, I can tell you now, as with the friends that I have included in that generation that saw all of it. They're the first ones to make fun of it because you gotta laugh at life, right? No, I'm sorry, I never went through it, but I am so grateful for all the medications that came out since and that have saved my life and millions of lives moving forward into the future. But it's a fact of life that we would not be where we are today without those people who had to suffer at the front lines and I appreciate and love them. They are with me always in what I do, but I think they would have a sense of humor. And an AIDS anniversary, come on. It's all in celebrating who I am. It's celebrating the things that I have accomplished. It's celebrating the people that have made it possible for me to be here today. And I don't see anything wrong in that. Nope, not whatsoever. So AIDS anniversary will continue. And that's number seven for me now. Uh-huh, uh -huh. looks like cocoa balls. God damn it, cats. Alrighty, so I know that you guys don't know that much about me. Um, I've been trying to do my best at staying on top of conversations and um, private messages. You guys are awesome, so supportive, so thank you for that. And honestly, like you guys, whatever you need help with, um, if there's any advice that I can give you regarding HIV, I know a lot because I've been doing it for the past four years working in this industry. Um, a little bit about, about my past is that I started healthcare navigation and I was helping people get connected to pharmacies, insurance, doctors, so you name it, therapists, um, just learning the system as it was. And then I became involved and was volunteering in a healthcare office that specifically got people involved. Um, enrolled into programs through the state and through the government or the federal government that su subsidize the insurance costs, the prescription costs, and your out-of-pocket medical expenses. It's amazing. This happens in California and well, ADAP, which stands for the AIDS Drugs Assistance Program, uh, does exist federally 
Uh, California always kind of goes one step ahead when it comes to social programs. We say them. You ready for it? You wanna guess? You wanna guess? We save them over three and a half million dollars a year on insurance costs. We get them the best of the best insurance and we do it so that they can have the best care possible at no charge. The state of California understands that if you do this, it actually cuts the cost. And if you were to be paying for the entire cost of the price of a prescription, anybody have an idea what those costs? Uh, you're looking at per month, per prescription, somewhere around anywhere 1800 to 3500 a month. So if you're paying for an insurance premium that is only hmm, 700 to even 2000 and then you're paying for a copay that's like, what, $10, $15? That's it. Versus anywhere from 1800 to 3500 per prescription. Yeah, I think it's pretty wise to do that. Plus, it also gives us the education background and helps people go out and be, be encouraged to, to utilize their healthcare because it's available to them. It's very empowering. The education portion is what's key in ending this transmission. Um, but uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to go off on a rant like that, but it's just really something that I love and very passionate about. I am very excited about what this opportunity presents in front of me. And that is that I can kind of talk about whatever it is that I want and I'm going to facilitate, but in that comes the collaboration of everyone. I want you guys to chime in. I have no friggin' clue if uh, I'm on the right platform to do this. Uh, look, I'm gonna figure it out. But when I figure this out, I will let you know what needs to happen. And if I can count on you, I would love to have your input. Uh, honestly, collaboration is the best way. Love and sex, friendship, career, quirks in my life, um, spirituality, family, HIV, health in general, mental health. Oh my God. Um, metaphysics. Anybody know about met metaphysics? Oh my God. I love that. I love that. I love that. I don't know what that was, honestly. But one last little shout out before I go. Uh, next week is going to be about the drug epidemic in our community. And we have some amazing, already started this great conversation around it. And that's what I wanna keep is conversation. Debate and conversation, they're more than welcome. It's a collaboration in the end because it's an exchange of ideas. Please, please avoid using any disrespectful tones and words, anything that's gonna cut people down. I don't want people to feel like they can't have their voice or their opinion. And that's what we're here for. We're gonna listen. I don't know that we're gonna solve the problems, but damn it, we're gonna have a better idea for that. So if you have any ideas and you wanna talk about, I'm all ears, I love researching, and I am here for you. So, cack and bowels. All right, so I am gonna let you guys go and enjoy your beautiful weekend out there, wherever you may be. In Dallas, I think it's gonna be, I have no idea. Miss Kitty, you just stop, sorry, my cat, one second. Miss Kitty! Thank y'all, thank y'all, that'd be nice. Um, so, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, I would like, to, if anyone is interested, please, I'm gonna need subscriptions and I wanna keep this going. Um, I'm not necessarily monetizing it, I just want to keep this going because I like to be in front of the camera. I think that's pretty obvious at this point, right? All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm, stay cool, stay dry. Whatever may happen in your neck of the woods. I'm sorry, Al, I will not take that from you. Um, yeah, until next time.